What's the best way to see Oppenheimer? In IMAX 70mm film, of course. Let's do some breaking down of why you should see the movie in the grandest IMAX format. Some stuff that makes this particular movie special, and what you'll be missing out on if you don't see the movie as director Christopher Nolan intended you to see it. In past videos, I'm fairly critical of the IMAX Corporation. The company often touts its slightly expanded aspect ratio to sell expensive tickets in small auditoriums with overly loud sound, and while the interiors of IMAXs are improving as time goes on, a noticeable number of IMAX auditoriums are still pretty dated. However, for movies like Oppenheimer and The Flash, seeing them in an IMAX auditorium is worth the extra cost in money and possible lack of creature comforts. Nolan movies are known to be well-written action dramas that are very well produced. The attention to detail and creation of a world are evident in all of his products, and his drive to produce a well-made movie extends to the cameras. Nolan is such a fan of the IMAX film format that he'll even lend out his lenses for IMAX cameras to trusted filmmakers so that they too can capture amazing IMAX shots. Nolan has gone on record to say that the level of detail, clarity, and depth provided by IMAX film is something that no other format can currently match. This is actually backed up by some IMAX stats. In a 2020 Movie University interview with IMAX Corporation, a spokesperson stated the IMAX film format can capture up to 18K resolution. That level of detail is actually needed when you're on a massive 100 plus foot wall or wide screens like the ones in Australia and Germany, where resolution can get washed out. The high resolution can be attributed to the fact that there is just an immense amount of real estate on an IMAX 70mm film cell with which to capture imagery. Currently, there are no mainstream digital cameras that can capture the level of detail that IMAX film can. While some movies will tout the shot for IMAX moniker in marketing material, these are almost always shot with IMAX certified digital cameras, lower resolution digital cameras that are able to capture imagery in IMAX's taller aspect ratio. For an explanation on aspect ratios, check out this video I made with them a while back. No one movie has ever been shot entirely in IMAX film. It is simply too expensive. The film cameras are really loud and the logistics to support, transport, protect, preserve, and operation for film are extensive. All points brought up by Nolan and other directors over the years. Now, in addition to the visual splendor provided by IMAX 70mm film, you'll also need to consider sound. IMAX auditoriums have a reputation for being too loud, but in Nolan's case, you might need that extra volume. His movies tend to be very, very loud during action scenes, but too quiet during dialogue scenes. The massively powered speakers in IMAX auditoriums will help you out with this problem. In order of precedence on how you should choose to see this movie, an IMAX 70mm film theater is the best way to see this movie because it's the way Christopher Nolan intends Oppenheimer to be watched. Your biggest problem, though, is going to be finding a theater that can play 70mm IMAX film. As of 2023, there are around 50 theaters left in the world that can play the format, and only about 30 of them will be playing Oppenheimer. A link to IMAX's list of theaters playing Oppenheimer in 70mm film is in the description. If you can't see it in IMAX film, I would recommend any other IMAX location because IMAX theaters are equipped to handle the taller aspect ratio of IMAX shot movies. These smaller, digital IMAXs are sometimes referred to as LIMAXs, but they are fairly plentiful in the US, being at almost any Regal and many AMC locations. For my overseas folks, a lot of the Odeon theaters in the UK and PVR theaters in India have them attached. There are a couple of different formats of digital IMAX. However, all are equipped to display IMAX imagery in either the tall aspect ratio of 1 9 by 1 or the tallest ratio at 143 by 1 both still being wide like you'd see in a typical theater, but taller to allow an expanded image. From what I can tell, most digital IMAXs have the 1-9 aspect ratio, which is taller than a typical theater, but not the tallest. If you see the movie in any other format besides IMAX, you're going to be losing around 25% of the picture. Additionally, Nolan worked with Kodak and IMAX to create a black and white IMAX film reel for sequences within the movie. Oppenheimer is not mixed in spatial sound, 
but rather will have a traditional 5.1 mix or the IMAX 6 track mix if you see it in an IMAX theater. Let me know which format you'll be seeing Oppenheimer in and in what city. I'm always curious to know where my fans are from. For a detailed look into the IMAX company and format, check out this video I made with them a little while back. This is Movie University, Education and Cinema.